Hello there everyone, it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you for another weekly YouTube Live. And I'm very, very excited to be joining you today. We see so many people from around the world have jumped on. There is a lot of chatting happening. <laughs> How exciting to see you all here. You know I do love a good social occasion with all of you. So if this is your first time joining us, welcome. Please say first timer, hashtag first time. Cause we love to see newbies. And maybe we have some friendly stalkers that haven't commented before. Have you never commented before? Please say hi, don't be shy. We love to see ones coming back, but we know sometimes some of you are busy crafting and maybe don't comment, but we love seeing who's here so that we can say hello. Now, let's see who's in the house so I can say some hellos to all of you. So, Iniki's here, Charlotte's here. Oh, lovely Cindy. All these beautiful names that we recognize. Patricia, Susan. Hi, Susan. And Judy is here. Oh, so lovely seeing your Mary, Lynn, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> so if you can't see the live chat and you're wondering who on earth is Kylie saying hello to, uh, you do need to log in to YouTube to see the chat. And once you log in, you'll be able to see the live chat. If you're watching the replay and you're on your mobile phone, there is actually a live chat button. That's something I just discovered recently. And then you can actually see the live chat even on your mobile phone when you're watching this. So that's a lot of fun. Oh, there's some more jumping in. Helen and Megan. Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Oh, so lovely to see you all. Now, big hugs to all of our Aussie friends who are going through a really rough time with the floods. We've got friends that have been impacted up in Queensland. And it's a very very full on. So please know that we're thinking of all of you and the um, products that we're using today are not reminiscent of what you've just been through because waves can be nice when they behave, right? <laughs> we, don't, we don't want too much rain, but we love the beach. We love to go and see beautiful things at the beach, but we really do feel for all of you and it's been a really tough time for all of you so big hugs and um, hopefully as things get a little bit tidy tidy I know that some of you got a big clean up ahead um, hopefully we can get some cards sent out to all of you through our random act of kindness group because we know you're going to be needing lots of love and lots of support and yeah we're really thinking of all of you so if you're not part of our random act of kindness there's a lot of things happening around the, the world and um, people need some love so if you have some um, cards that you're sort of sitting on that you don't know what to do with you maybe got a big pile there please think about sending out your cards I know we get attached to them emotionally but take a picture a picture lasts forever so take a picture and send those cards to people who really truly need to know that they are loved and they're thought of um, because yeah, they're going to need it. Yeah. Cheryl's here. Oh, Cheryl's run away to Townsville. Oh, Cheryl will feel for you. That's really difficult having to leave your home. I, like Britta and I were trying to imagine that the other night, we just thought that would be so difficult to do to just get up and go somewhere. We figured Bruno's mum and dad's house would be the best house to go to because it's double story and brick. <laughs> if anything like that happened here, we thought we'd better prepare in our head just in case something happens here. It's just unbelievable what's happening around the world. So yes, big prayers and hugs and thoughts and wishes to hopefully that no one's too badly affected and that those who are that we're thinking of you. Now, yes, it is time for a Beveragino, everyone. What Beveragino should I have? To, which cup should I use today? Did someone say Beveragino? Oh, I know which cup I'm going to use. I think Bruno might get a bit upset, but I can't help myself because, you know, Bruno's a bit 
Brenner's a bit smart, I have to say. He's a bit of a clever one. Please wait me. <laughs> Are you ready to see my beautiful monk? This is a new addition in the Batucci household. Did someone say Beveragino? <gasps> Look at this. This is a new addition, new exclusive edition. <laughs> yes, look at him from the other room. Are you showing? Maybe. <laughs> well, look, Lisa's away on a million dollar retreat. She's not going to be watching this video. So we're safe. She's preoccupied getting um, zhuzhed at Stampin' Up! headquarters. Because <laughs> we sent one to her. Shh! Don't anyone tell her, okay? Top secret. Top secret. So her and Gina can sip on beverages in Florida. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if you haven't signed up for our event, just putting my pod on peeps, you will hear you will hear the um the engine purring in the background <laughs> with coffee in it. But if you haven't signed up for the online stamping retreat, you're going to be in for lots of fun. So online stamping retreat link, make sure you go and sign up now. I know some of you are, I, look, I am either one of two things. I'm the first person or I'm the last person to sign up. So who are you? Are you the first person or the last person? Do you keep going, I've got to do that. I've got to do that. And then last minute we have, this is it, final hours. And then you go, oh, <laughs> I'm going to miss out if I don't sign up now. <laughs> so online stamping retreat, click. I know, isn't the mug beautiful? I love the little heart in there. <laughs> so cute. I know. Uh, thank you all so much. We've, we've just been so overwhelmed with all of you signing up for the retreat. It really has touched our heart. And I know that you're going to absolutely love it because of Bruno's project. He's stolen the show. <laughs> it's so amazing. I have to say, I'm not biased. Even, even Lisa was like, oh, we may as well all pack up and go home, Bruno Batucci. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very unique project that I think you're all going to absolutely love. And I can see so many ways to use it. It's going to be, yeah, brilliant, genius. He's an architectural paper genius. That's all I'll say. Yay, you excited for the retreat? All signed up. Woohoo! We're going to have so much fun. Now, when you finish, you should get, like, once you sign up, you'll get an exclusive welcome video. Did all of you see the welcome video? from us that was a lot of fun to make <laughs> we had a lot of laughs so definitely check that out if you didn't click on the link and also a few of you were asking where do I find the measurements and what we're using how do I cut everything up beforehand so you need to log back in to the Podia platform and then you will get all the information you need so just in case you've missed that because I know last week everyone's like where did you get the measurements where did you get the projects from and I said I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, I'm not running this thing. <laughs> I'm not that clever. No, I, uh, I asked the, um, the smart ones in the office and they, and they let me know. <sighs> Does someone say Prefugino? Oh, Susan, her husband printed out all the projects, plastic pockets and put it in a folder. Where did you get that husband? He sounds as good as my husband. <laughs> oh, you loved the welcome video. That was a lot of fun. I got in a bit of trouble, didn't I? Whoops. Whoopsie, sorry, Lisa. I lied for, for like years. Well, I didn't really lie. It's just, you know, I just forgot to fix the joke. And it kind of went on for many many years with her believing some pretty scary things about Australia. <laughs> Shh, don't talk about the drop bears. Whoopsie. <laughs> I've got served. <laughs> so what are we doing today? What's happening? Today we are going to play. 
because I kind of have a lot happening here. There's a lot in my head, but nothing actually in real life. <laughs> so this is what we're playing with, a brand new collection of products. So we've got these beautiful, amazing products here. And I'll show you on my store. So if you don't have this already, remember it's still celebration here in Australia. Like we've only got five more days left of celebration in Australia and New Zealand. New Zealand and Australia have it because we missed out on a few items. So in case you're wondering, why do they still have it? Well, we went without some products for a good month or so. So let me share my screen because I want to show you <laughs> bunyips. So I forgot about the bunyips. I need to get that. I need to get her on that one next. <laughs> the thing is, is that we've got enough of actual legitimately scary things that we don't even need to make anything up. Like legit, the spiders here are just crazy. <laughs> There's cockroaches and all sorts of weird and what a spider i remember one trip when i went up to queensland i'm like oh it's been so long since i've been to queensland I've come visiting from melbourne and i went to my parents place and as i'm going because i had like a little granny flat attached and as i'm going to the granny flat there's a snake a brown snake hissing at me and i'm like welcome back to queensland then I come around the corner to the little porch area and there was this massive toad, like the ugliest toad, the fattest toad you've ever seen. I'm like, welcome back to Queensland, Kylie. And then I walked inside and there was a spider the size of my hand. I'm just like, okay, enough of the reptiles, Queensland. Thank you so much for welcoming me, little animals but I really don't want you in my little flat. I don't want you hanging out with me. <laughs> I was like, oh no, yeah, red backs and oh, there's so many gross things. <laughs> Five top deadliest snakes. Oh. <laughs> we see spiders and we're like, oh, I wonder if that's a deadly one. Oh, well, we, we must remove it from the home. <laughs> there's just too many crazy things in this place. <laughs> so let's have a look. So I'm not too sure why we make one up because we could just use the ones that actually do exist. <laughs> There's real things here. <laughs> so this is our amazing bundle here. Woohoo! Waves of the ocean. So we've got some beautiful ones that they've shown here. I love this stamping that they've done over the paper, which is very clever. And we've got some really beautiful foil and di different layered dies. And these jewels are absolutely gorgeous. Look at these rhinestone jewels. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll show you the paper. The paper's beautiful. You know, I love some designer series paper. So yeah, and the foil comes in three colors. It's silver, Knight of Navy, and I'm pretty sure Coastal Cabana. I was going to say Bermuda, but it's Coastal Cabana. So aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness, they're so gorgeous. So we're going to have a bit of fun today. One thing I am reminding myself, and all of you need to remind me, is that with these dies, that it's like really important to use the adhesive sheets. <laughs> we can get away with it, but I think I'm going to find myself in a bit of a bit of a pickle if I don't use the adhesive sheets because they're really fine. Like I'm sure I'll be able to sponge daub Tombow if we really, really need to. That's another way to get things sticky, but why not use the adhesive sheets if we've got them, right? So that's a really gorgeous suite. Now, before we head off away from our beautiful online store, I do want to share one more thing with you. And that is, let's go back here to the home page. So up the top here, you'll see it sort of moving through. As it moves through, you can discover details. And this is the one that I wanted to show you. Make sure you see my name up the top if you're shopping with, or you want to shop with us. Whoever's name is up the top is who you're shopping with. If you don't see your name, just sign in. 
and if you've shopped with us before it will come up and if you haven't shopped with a demonstrator before it will get you to choose so just do that now there's savings at the moment this is something really special for our new zealand and australian peeps uh, because celebrations on you actually get these amazing discounts plus um, celebration offers which is either joining and getting two free stamp sets plus all of these specials or you can go shopping and get these specials and free celebration items so we're getting like a double whammy special which is really cool and just remember that the stampin mini stampin carton boss machine i think there's 20 percent off on him so really great value so definitely come and check out here if you're needing a bit of a a shop if you need something to buy here we go here's some retail therapy for you <laughs> we need we need to feel some excitement in our life so yeah you can just flip across and see there's a little arrow here and see what it is that you want to sort of hone in on and have a look so oh that looks pretty doesn't it oh they've used the paste on the strips <gasps> i thought today wouldn't it be beautiful to see these oceans in a scrappy strip hey one of Bruno's scrappy strips so let's have a bit of fun I'll just kind of introduce you to the products and then we'll see what happens because that's the best way I find with new products it's just jump in and have a play you may not know what's going to happen but that's part of the fun <laughs> and sometimes I like to go back to my old cards and kind of get ideas from my old cards um, see what I've done before maybe what layouts I've used and then that helps me make a decision in terms of what I'm going to make so let's have some fun is everyone ready who's doing some love it chop it while they're watching <laughs> Bruno and Charlotte make sure you use the adhesive sheets thank you you guys I did ask thank you <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Donna hasn't played with hers yet, but she knows that she's coming here for some inspo. Yay! We're going to we're going to play around with all sorts of things, right? So here we go. -da! So we've got these beautiful rhinestones here. Look at those colors. And I've pulled out all of the colors that come in the designer series paper this is something I like to do and maybe it's something you can do to kind of get some inspo is I like to work out what colors go with the designer series paper so first off I use the designer series paper as my palette and then I can kind of go from there to kind of play around and see what we can come up with I did sort of think about how nice that wave would look um, with some vellum or as Bruno likes to call it velum. we'll have some velum. but I thought that would be a really nice way to sort of accentuate that that wave so we'll have a bit of a play with that and the other thing is the paper so I've got all the inks in the same colors so I pulled all them out and that's about the extent of my organization this morning <laughs> that's as far as I've gone literally 10 minutes before I'm like uh Bruno do you know where the step set is it was in his room I mean I was looking for about 10 minutes but that's okay Bruno to steal the stuff from the craft room why don't you he's got his own craft room set up now which is very exciting but things do go missing a little bit more <laughs> he's crafting in his own craft room so there's our little gorgeous foil pieces we've already used a few of those Bruno's been having a play with this suite already which I think he's going to do a video on so watch this space there's more to come but can I just say how absolutely stunning and it's difficult to see in this light maybe I can hold it up over here but oh look at all the reflection of our room Whee! <laughs> there's a double Kylie <laughs> but isn't this gorgeous color oh so so pretty so we might have a play with some of those as well do some die cutting so let's have a little look where should we begin people <laughs> 
I was looking 10 minutes before. Oh, it was two minutes before when I finally asked Bruno. True. I'll give you that. That's how I roll. That's that's Kylie for ya. <laughs> so who has a bigger calyx? <laughs> me. me. <laughs> I've got the biggest one. But Bruno does have a lot of amazing bench space in there. He's got lots going on in his craft room. <laughs> it's a lot tidier than mine. <laughs> but we're not surprised about that, are we? <laughs> Hello, Jackie. <laughs> Thanks for my cup, Bruno. Okay, first one I'm going to do really, really simple because this stamp set is stunza. And I think there's a couple of things that we can do with just this. And then we can kind of layer it. I do like to pop this in here, but I think we're going to need to chop this one down for Bruno's OCD because he doesn't like it when it pops out, which I'm the same. I agree. I don't like it coming up above here, so we might have to chop that one for us to cope. Uh, so we've got this gorgeous wave, and these sentiments, you, you're so totally awesome. It reminds me of something like a surfer would say, right? Totally awesome, dude. So pull all these fun things out. And don't forget the little birdie peeps. He's really tiny, could be easy to miss. So don't forget him, because that adds some, a really nice element to the card. And we'll just peel off the backing. So if some of you are new to stamping, this is our stamp set. You just peel all of this. I like to keep this personally, because it tells me, Kylie, you're missing something from your stash. And I just pop it in there because I've peeled the backing. It sits really nicely. And then you just peel off the others and then just pop them in. And I like having it like that. Is that how most of you do yours? You can add the stickers, the cling stickers. Um, but it's been so long since we had because the stickers before weren't very sticky. Now these ones are really sticky. They're like the opposite of sticky. And so we're kind of just used to not having stickers on there. But if you like to have them, go for it. I think if I had Bruno putting them on for me, I'd probably be okay. But I end up putting them on crooked and then they're stuck for life. Crooked. <laughs> because I can't, I can never put them on straight and there's no going back. Ooh, Bruno used this one. I'm like, how is, how come this one's got stamping on it. I thought this was brand new. No, that's right. Bruno has had a play. So there we go. Now at the Stampin' Up! Warehouse, they actually make all of these by hand. We have been to the um, St. George where they do, well, is it Canab? Yeah, Canab. We've been to Canab and Bruno actually made a stamp set. We put gloves on, they heat the rubber, in the like kiln like in an oven and then you bring it out and it's like all molded and then you have another machine that cuts it and that's all done by hand oh, so amazing so if you get ink like i think some of you have been getting ink lately that's a little bit juicy all of the ink is done by hand as well like they ink we were there and we we're watching them like put the ink in the pads and then sticking the pads onto the actual plastic inserts and even putting the ins like putting the whole ink pad together and I'm like what is going on here I had no idea it was so manual did any of you know that I thought we were going to watch these machines like I don't know do stuff but um oh we've got a spammer in the house Bruno go get him <laughs> go block and block and delete now, this is a really big stamp. Is there another block that I'm missing? Is there a bigger one? Oh, there is a bigger block. Ooh, Bruno's Waves Project's going live tonight. Wow, go Bruno. <gasps> Look at this block, everyone. Kylie Batucci. Oh, good job, Bruno. He's blocked the spammer. Spammer blocked. 
now where did I put my oh there it is my alcohol wipes this is this is part of our stamping unfortunately every now and then it just gets too dirty for our liking right so I've just used some alcohol I, I mean usually I would use baby wipes but I've kind of left the baby wipes open so now they're not baby wipes anymore they're just dry cloths <laughs> so I've kept them but yes, they're, they're dry cloths now <laughs> because I didn't close the, close the thing. Oh dear. I hope I'm not alone. <laughs> this is what's going to make this event so fun is that Lisa's so super organized and I'll be spilling coffee all over the way. <laughs> so we're like, we're like the opposite. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I will use the Stamparatus Bruno after all of that. But my block got a really good clean. Look how good that looks. So just, you know, grab out your blocks, peeps. Give them a really nice clean with some... In Australia, we have Icicle. He's a cool crocodile. Bruno would be able to sing the theme song for you because he remembers every single theme song and advertisement from his childhood. <laughs> random, random songs. <laughs> I'm like, sing the Big Bang opening and he can. He really can. It's his it's his talent. That and acronyms. He can you can say, um, it's time to go to bed and he'll be like T T Time to G T B and he can say it really quick. Like he can do acronyms really fast. I have to think about it. It's a real it's a really amazing talent that has absolutely no use for anything. But it's quite hilarious because you're like, my brain can't even work out what the first letter is. How did you do that? She'll do it on the side. Does anyone else have a weird talent? Like curling their tongue a weird way? <laughs> Actually, mum mum has a weird talent like that with it with she does something weird with her tongue, like she does like a th three thing. Or maybe my brother Luke. It's very strange. Okay. Good. Good call on the Stamparatus Bruno Petucci. I'm liking it. Now what I've decided to do is have a bit of fun with this and do some sponging. I'm going to do some sponge drawing so that we can bring in a few colours. So I've got my sponge daubers here. I think we'll do, oops, they're all stuck to the, the ceiling. I think we'll do Knight of Navy and the Pacific Point. So Pacific Point and where's my Knight of Navy? I think this is the right one. Yes. Although I've got it sitting in... Oh, no, that is not a maybe. I have no idea. I've got to do a whole... I've got to rejig re all of my daubers because there's kind of been a random overlap of strange colours that don't really belong in those places <laughs> because I haven't put them back in the right place. Don't look at me. It was me. <laughs> so first up, I'm going to do it in the Coastal Cabana. I'll do a layer and then we'll come in and daub out with the Knight of Navy and I will grab some Pacific Point. And we've got some uh, basic white. <gasps> I said whisper white. We've got some basic white and I think that that's going to look really beautiful. What do you reckon, peeps? I think we're on to a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So let's chop this down. Look at me, I'm like, where's my trimmer? Does anyone know where my trimmer is? <laughs> no, it's just here. I actually do know where it is. <laughs> it's under... <laughs> it's under a beautiful gift from Brandy Barnard. Yes, Brandy sent me a present for helping her with the presentation. 
Do you want to see it? I digress, but I just saw this beautiful picture and I thought you might want to see it. Oh, isn't that cool? I'll do a zoom. I'll do a... Thank you, Brandy. Makes me really happy. So I'm going to put it in my wall here because I've got a few spaces spare. And then I'll think of Brandy when I see it. Brandy's the bomb, man. Thank you so much. And there's a beautiful little necklace as well that's very empowering. It's got like a beautiful, let me see here. It's got a beautiful little saying there. Isn't that the cutest? <sighs> she had it all along. What does it say? You had the power all along. And it's Dorothy's shoes, her little red shoes. That's very cute. Thank you, Brandy. She did a very cute card too. Follow, 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 follow your dreams. Cuteness. Thank you, Brandy. <laughs> a card from Brandy. Pretty cool. So amazing who we get to know in this awesome little crafting business, isn't it? Oh. She was always my inspo, Brandy. I used to say to her, how do you stamp in public? I had the business stuff sort of all okay, but I had no concept of like, how do you do these presentations and stamp and just really did not feel confident in my stamping. Boy, how things have changed. Now I rock up to my lives and I haven't even made the card first. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to channel that old Kylie. <laughs> Go back to, <laughs> I, need a, I need a bit of fear put back into me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I think that that will be a nice spot actually. We'll just bring it out a little bit more because I want it to overhang. But I also want it to come down a little bit. So let's just bring this down a little bit there. Just line it up. Ah, oh, that looks great. Although I think it might be a little bit. Although we can do some chopping because I've done it full. I've done it the Cajun craze size. Yeah, that looks great. This is the very technical way of me doing this. Eyeballing. <laughs> I'm just doing an eyeball. <laughs> Brandy Barnard. You like Barnard, don't you? We can't say Barnard. That's how Aussies say it. Isn't that terrible? We would slaughter her name. But then I can't really say it in American because I'm not very good with my American. Brandy Barnard. Brandy Barnard. That's an Aussie way of saying it. I love Brandy Barnard. <laughs> so Patricia said, oh yes, that, that's a good point. Why is it no longer Whisper White? There's a new company on the scene. Okay, so we've just smushed that all in with our coastal cabana ooh cuz i do like the lighter color as the base and then we'll just come in with a little bit of the pacific point what specifically in the pacific do you mean now there's this one so we'll just do i'm thinking in the in the wave here that that's where Look, I want this one to stay quite light, the actual froth bit. But, you know, whatevs. You do whatever. Just play around. Have some fun. I probably should have cleaned this first. Hopefully it stamps okay. But at least we're on the Stamparatus, so we could always come back in if we need to. So the dark one I want to put in this section here. I think that's getting some ink. You can't really see it going on, but that's okay. We'll see it coming off. <laughs> well, 
Here it goes, hey? Are you ready? Woohoo! This is the fun bit. What's it gonna do? How is this gonna turn out? This is the experimental new product play. And when you have these plays yourself, just you know, realize things could go pear shaped, like here. That looks amazing though. <laughs> Look how good that looks, people. Oh, wow. Let's do a little bit in this corner. Because as it gets closer to the edge there, it does miss a little bit. So you just gotta come back in. My mind. How beautiful is that? Wow, wow, wow. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I know, it's so gorgeous. This has made me look. Although this bit here does look like it's missing bit too. But it actually doesn't look so bad. I think it looks like it's part of it. But I've just seen here on the stamp that there's a bit still there but I did move it so I don't think I'll be able to go back in let's see let's do another eyeball because it won't matter too much with this type of stamp set we'll, we'll see we'll find out <laughs> we could always have another another play <laughs> it really is a wave huh not oh, doesn't want to come off that little bit look at him He's being very stubborn. A little bit came off. We'll give you, we'll give you resuscitation. <laughs> Get in there. I might have to put a little shim underneath or like a um, extra piece. Oh yeah, it looks like it's come off now. It's not much different. It actually doesn't look so bad. That is so, so cool. What actually would be really interesting to do with this one is I wonder what it would look like if you sort of went off center and did some of it in embossing, like white embossing, but not all of it, just some of it. That would be another cool thing to do. Just add that, like maybe up here, you could do, just lift it a little bit in your Stamparatus and then have like your, your white emboss top of the wave. I think that would look really cool. And then when you bring your sponging in, which you could do, then you've got like this, yeah, wave coming out. Should we give that a try? <laughs> let's try that. Let's give that a, that, let's give that a whirl, peeps. <laughs> this is the welcome to innovation day with waves of the ocean collection <laughs> as part of innovation day so normally what you could do oh yeah we could just sort of bring this down a little bit because that will bring that wave up and we don't want it too much but just sort of coming up the top there and I'll just use one of our stamparatus magnets to keep it in place and I'm thinking that we'll do just a little bit up the top here. Maybe this little section here actually would look nice. Let's try that. And remember, if it doesn't work, I'm giving you permission to muck up. Like I'm doing this live in front of 130 people plus the thousands that end up watching it again. And it's okay. Like, give yourself permission to play and just have fun. Like, I think sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves to get it perfect. Oh, we have to get it right the first time because otherwise I'm a failure. I'm the worst artist in the world. No, how many times do you think that people who do YouTube muck it up? You don't see the muck up bits. You don't see when they go pear-shaped. Trust me, they do. I rip things apart and I, <laughs> I never throw anything out though. I actually force myself not to throw things out because I'm like, no, it can always be salvaged. 
I just, I get too overwhelmed if I throw it out. Ooh, the Wink of Stella is a great idea. That would be beautiful. Use a sponge dauber and versa marker. That's a nice one, Bruno. Because that would then go through it. Ooh, I like that idea, Bruno. We can have like bits and pieces. But yeah, see, it's just fun. And if you got onto Zoom or something like that and you got caught up with some friends, yeah, this could be a really great way to sort of innovate together and have a bit of fun. And just try new things like, what do you think I should do here? And what do you think about this? And it's the best way to use your products, especially new ones that you might not have a lot of confidence in using. Um, so we'll just put some in here. You don't want too much. And I've got the wave. I don't want to cover too much of that beautiful stamping. So I think we'll try that. We'll see how that goes. Oh, that magnet is going to be right in the way. Let's put it up there. Oh, because actually that's another good thing because I've lifted it a bit. It is going to be in a different spot. But yeah, I think it's really important just to, when you're having an innovation day, you can say, I'm going to have an innovation day. And it's kind of a way of saying, Innovation day is is just playing. You don't necessarily have to actually get to a point of completion. You're just stamping and looking at colour and yeah, just just having a bit of fun with the with the new products. And it enables you to sort of you know have a feel for what you're using. And you know, already we can see we're getting ideas of what we can do that are a little bit different, you know like putting the embossing on, like things that we could try that maybe you wouldn't think of if you didn't have an innovation day. Stampin' Up! have innovation day, so we're allowed to have one, right? <clears throat> Whoa! So I probably went a little crazy with the embossing, but we'll see what it looks like once we... Because I didn't really want to cover too much of it. But we'll see what it looks like when it's embossed. Boy, where's my other... <laughs> There's so many fragments of <laughs> dimensional toppings in this one. Oh, here's my new one. <laughs> I'm like, that's a really messed up embossing powder. <laughs> uh, it's like, how much, how much little extra elements can you have in one piece? <laughs> Okay, let's give that a go. I think that's got all the... And if you felt like, what another thing I could do here is if I felt like there's a bit too much in here, I could actually come in with my um, Take Your Pick tool and just sort of um, shave away little bits that you want to expose. So that's another way of doing it. If I don't necessarily want all that covered. Um... So just bits and pieces that you're sort of removing if you if you put on too much and it still will have a few bits in there but I do like this end of the take your pick tool to take a little bit away as well just a little bit in here this looks a little bit foreign but you know you might have a few little splatters there that you can leave because you know there's always a splash isn't there a bit of splashback so let's just emboss that and see how we go. Full disclosure, speaking of mucking up, last night Kylie was talking about the dyes and I'm like, what? They layer with each other? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, how did you go with the layering? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean the layering? The dyes layer? Yep. But unless we play, we, yeah, we don't know these things. Wow. I'm glad I opened that little section there with the Knight of Navy to come through. That looks so cool.
So I don't know how much you're going to be able to see on the camera, but it really has given it such a cool, like 3D effect. Can you see that? Ah, yes, Charlotte said she'd been trying to get the little bits and pieces off with a brush. Yeah, I used to use a brush, but I actually find using that steel, just that really, yeah, the steel end is really good for removing bits and pieces. It's like a lot more precise. I know, wouldn't that be fun having a little surfer in here? We need to pop him in here. Isn't that cool? So I definitely think with this edge here, um, we'll have to cut that down. But yeah, really, really, yeah, doesn't it look great with the white emboss on there? I think that was a good addition. So tick, innovation day worked. Sometimes it doesn't, just remember that. <laughs> Give yourself permission to run amok and get it wrong. <laughs> and that's how you learn. You learn from making those boo-boos. And they're not even boo-boos, they're innovation. I love innovation. There's no such thing as a mistake on innovation day. <laughs> it's how you get it's how you get to your final product of innovation. Is just having a play. Now I've got no idea where my cleaner is. <laughs> it could really help if I did a tidy tidy before my life. I was very tired this morning. I don't know why. Anyway, I'll find it later. <laughs> Bruno, can you clean my stamp sets for me later? <laughs> oh, I've got a very good husband. He's very patient. So let's see what we can do next with this little baby. Let's see what we can turn it into. I think if we, ooh, I know what we're going to do. Because so we've got the designer series paper, which I haven't pulled out and showed you yet. But I think if we cut this down, maybe we could do a bit of sponging. And I think this one here looks like it would, that piece there is amazing, isn't it? So let's have a look at our, ooh, 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 ooh. look at these papers. Wow. So you could just change it, adapt it according to, so actually this would be really interesting to do this wave, like really dark, like the Night of Navy dark, and then do the embossing over the top. I think you'd see it way more than what you can see on our one. But yeah, that's cool. What else have we got here that we can use on Innovation Day? Gorgeous, look at that. <gasps> Wow, what? Wow. And I think I, I saw on Instagram that um, one of the concept artists made this with like um, acrylic paints and then photographed it. Wow. Yeah, that's the other side. Amazing. Look at that. <gasps> What? Wow, so beautiful. That that could almost be a galaxy, that one, couldn't it? You could do... <clears throat> oh, they flipped the stamp upside down to extend the wave. That's cool. Yeah, you could even extend it that way. That's a great idea. Great innovation. Ooh. That is so, so beautiful. Look at those papers. <gasps> you had me at paper. <laughs> Love it. Chop it. <laughs> wow. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. So maybe even one like that, because I think maybe Bruno's used... Which side did you use of yours, Bruno? Did you use the dark side or this side? Because that actually would be perfect with the that beautiful Night of Navy and Pacific Point running through there. So I think I'm going to go for that one. That's calling me with this one. And then we can mount this, just have it in the background. Yes. This is what we are going to do. 
So let's grab our amazing Stampin' Up trimmer. Oh, there's a little bit of our cleaning tissue from our block. <laughs> and we need, do I have my, the dark side, oh good. So we're using the opposite side to Bruno. I like it. It's like, oh, sometimes if you use the same paper, it can somehow look, turn out to look similar. So what size? I think that needs to be the layer underneath. So what's smaller than Mango Melody? I think the next one down, yes, is Daffodil layer. So if you have my card templates, look look at this, peeps. Isn't this cool? I can just line up here and see exactly where this is going to finish. So it's a little bit close, the daffodil. Maybe we can go the next one down, which I think, I don't know if we have one the next one down, to be honest. Let's see. No, that one's not it. Maybe it's Granny Apple, actually. Yes, I found it. So see here, we can use our card templates. So the sizing. And you can see here, it's fitting right in between that paper. So we can cut that and know that we're just going to have the tiniest little leftover piece and it's going to be just right for the layer that we want because then we can do this layer and then underneath we can have another layer in a different color if we want and have that beautiful perfect matting and then that will sit really nicely over our designer series paper that we could do in the poppy parade size or that's actually not a whole lot of extra piece so maybe we can even cut down further Maybe we can even do this one because we want that paper to be a bit of a hero, don't we? I think maybe that size. That looks good, doesn't it? And if you did want to do the paper in the full size, you could even do the Cajun craze. That would go right to the edge of your card. So like edge to edge, and then you'd have more of the designer series paper showing. So I think we might try that today because it's not often that we do a love it, chop it full size. In the US, you are able to cut all of your paper the full size, the Cajun craze size. Unfortunately, in Australia, we can only get two this size and four the poppy parade size. It's just slightly under like 0.5 of a millimetre. Well, yeah, half a centimetre. Um, yeah, and that's why we can't get this size the whole pack. <clears throat> but the US, you can. You can cut it right to the edge, which is very cool. So I've got all my sizes. And once I've worked out my template and what I want to do for the sizing, and then you can also work out like what way do you want your card to open up? Do you want it to open up like this? Do you want it to be like this? This is how I'm going to do it. So I want the gorgeous grape sizing, and that's going to sit. You're not going to see the gorgeous grape color but when you open it you will of course so I'll probably do Night of Navy as the color base and then we'll go from there yeah we can get chopping so let's get our Night of Navy and this is how I like to do my cards like I kind of work out what stamp set I want to use and then the card templates just help me work out my measurements because that's usually the hardest thing is how do I layer this? How do I get it all sitting right? Well, this this wave kind of told us where we need to go with it. We do need to chop it down. So it kind of, yeah, it helps you along, which is good. You can see how it all is going to work. So I like to use the edge of my trimmer to line up the top here and then just my bone folder to squash that down. I find that that's a really clean, crisp, lovely edge then. It's happy. Then we need this gorgeous paper in the um, Cajun Craze size. So if you have our card templates, you can chop that. So I think I'll do, <clears throat> yeah, that one there. Actually, I'll do it this side because I want some of that beautiful 
colour in there. This one down the bottom here, isn't that gorgeous? That piece there. <gasps> so pretty. And then we need that side. So I'll just chop it that way so that I don't chop that off. And everything gets used, so keep all your paper. Wow. Then we need to chop this down. So what I'm going to do, I'll just chop it to the edge just so that I know I'm straight and everything's starting from a place of beginnings. I've got my beginnings of the chopping. And this is going to be the Coastal Cabana size. So if we have a look at Coastal Cabana, we definitely want all of that wave to be shown. So I can cut these two edges here. <clears throat> I know that that's the, the start of it. And then we're going to cut down. So we're going to do the longest size and then the smaller size and that will tell us if we've got that all happy <clears throat> look at that looks so good doesn't it and that's the coastal cabana template Bing! and then we know that the coastal cabana layers um, underneath the pool party um, size is a dimensional backing <laughs> they're everywhere <laughs> so you can see that beautiful layer there so what do we want for our <clears throat> little layer in between I think to really make that stand out on its own because right now it's just see how it's just disappearing into that background so I think if we do a night of navy <clears throat> just to make that really pop off the page so if you cut that using the pool party template I think we'll do which size I think we'll do it this way first choppy chop chop and then the other side there we go now let's see how this looks and we might change our minds that's okay on innovation day because you might put this on and then think no uh, yes I really like it <laughs> so, so look at the difference this is why we do matting right because before without that piece in between it's like but like it just disappears right but look at that oh we could use a foil sheet wouldn't that be gorgeous let's try that let's see what it looks like good call good call on the foil sheet oh wow that is very special yeah let's do some chopping <laughs> we're gonna love it chop it Whee! so you know this all this beautiful cardstock and paper don't be afraid to use it because this is why it's here so i like to chop my foil at the six inch mark just so it's a little bit easier to deal with in terms of your card making then you have somewhere to go from here and we're going to be doing that the pool party size yes I've got the right one I'm like oh, did I cut it right <laughs> yes you've got your templates it helps you to cut right now if you wanted to here because this is like a, a good block of foil. You could come in with a die or something in here that you can grab or even use your trimmer to cut it out um, if you didn't want to sort of waste all of that you know, foil. But look at that, that looks incredible. Great call. <laughs> dead, I'm dead. <laughs> yes, good call Randy. And Iniki said it, didn't you? Good job Iniki. So yeah, the foil sheet is like even hotter. Look at that. So simple, but wow. And then what we can do is come in with some Knight of Navy and have a sentiment here using one of these beautiful ones from the stamp set. 
So let's have a look and then we can stick everything down then. So I think your strength is an inspiration. I really love that. I think that that will be perfect. Now, if you're a little bit afraid to stamp directly on there, um, you could always tell yourself, it's okay. If I get it wrong, then I can just stamp on some um, Night of Navy and do some embossing. You can always cover, okay? So don't stress too much because what I find is when you're a little bit anxious and you think, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm going to make a mistake, I'm going to make a mistake, then you usually do make a mistake because that's all you're thinking about is you making a mistake. But if you tell yourself, it's all cool, if this doesn't work out, all cool, I'll just use something else instead, then usually it's all good. So let's see here. Where's my little stamparatus? Because uh, I was going to use a little bit of, I like when it's brand new, it's a really good idea just to, I could probably even just use my hand, but just go over the top of it and just sort of give it a good wipe or get your chamois and give it a good clean doing that. Just remove the excess like little bits and pieces that could be on there from from um, the manufacturing. And then the other thing that you wanna do is just give it a little bit of a test. So I think having some spare grid paper, I don't think I've got a spare piece around here, do I? Mm, no, I'll use this one. Ooh, beautiful. Look how fine it is. Yeah. So just give it a few little plays. So you see this one here, it missed the is. So it's just good to, you know, get it, get your little groove happening before you go to then stamp on the actual card itself. You know, make sure everything's nice and inked up. So just feel that nice and firm. And then I think if we do somewhere around... Yeah, somewhere around there. And then push, be definite, confident. We've got this, lift. Yes. And that's how you do it, peeps. But you know, sometimes it doesn't work out and that's okay. You know, put a, put a strip of the blue over the top or you know, you'll find ways to sort of adapt. It may not be exactly what you want, but then you'll just know for next time too. I really like that. I was going to actually think about sponging, but I just think having that, you know, wave as the the hero there. We can pop pop a few of the rhinestone gems on. I think they will look really good sort of hovering around a few little spots. But anyway, let's stick down. So I'm just going to use my Tombow glue. But you use whatever glue you prefer. So these are all our pieces here. Move all those out of the way. Got my Tombow. Ooh, making pineapple chicken. <laughs> what is Bruno singing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that song is. You need to come and sing it for us, Bruno. <laughs> we need you in here singing for us. There we go. And of course, I think it would be really nice to raise this because if you, another good thing if you want this to really pop is to have it lifted up. So we'll do some dimensionals on that one. This one here, we'll just make sure that this sits nicely. Yep, that looks good. And it's right to the edge, this one. This is very unusual. Normally I don't do this, but um, yeah, thought I'd show you something a little bit different. Oh yes, I know the song now. <laughs> Who is that? Is that the Bee Gees? Did the Bee Gees sing that one? Or air supply. Maybe it was air supply. Was it air supply? Wow. It's taken me back to when I was like two. <laughs> I 
I did used to love listening to the Bee Gees, though. It was my first record. I had a record player in my room. I used to love listening to the Bee Gees. It was awesome. So I don't know if I popped up. Um, does everyone have the card template tutorials yet? I'm, sh I'm shocked that there's some people that still don't have it. How are you even crafting? How are you even getting anything done? <laughs> I'll pop up the link for you so that you can have a look at the tutorials. Yay. Now, if you wanted to, this is a Lisa tip. I kind of forget every now and then, but I do like it when I do it. But you can just stab these and lift. So you're sort of coming into the side and then lifting. Side, lift. Side, lift. Side, lift. And the cool thing is, you know, then I won't have all these dimensional backings lying around my craft room like I do now. Pete, etc. What? <laughs> Could you hear Bruno through the wall, could you? <laughs> so yes, that is a Lisa tip. Really handy. It's gone straight into the bin. So that's just saved six, seven, eight backings from floating around our room for the next few weeks. <laughs> I'm like, how often do I vacuum in here? Oh, every couple of weeks. Oh my goodness. I really love it. I really love it. But just remember, sometimes Innovation Day does not work out like this. <laughs> I really like it. Yes, they do become mandatory after a while, don't they? Bruno used to poo-poo my, my card templates. He's like, oh, I'm feeling restricted. I can't get what I need to get done. But now he's like, yeah. Yes, we've almost done a whole piece of designer series paper. Almost. We've got a couple more pieces left from this one. <laughs> you found a dimensional backing in your driveway. That is gold. <laughs> I always love it when we find it on Jasper or Bella. I'm like, <laughs> oh no, it's on the dog. <laughs> so I'll just pop here card template. <laughs> tutorial it is an amazing card I'm shocked myself <laughs> no I love it too Bruno was very concerned last night when you Bruno he's like it's midnight and he's like have you done your prototype I'm like it'll be fine we'll work it out we'll just have a play and if it mucks up you'll all forgive me we I think we take ourselves a bit too seriously with our card making. Just keep it simple, peeps. This is actually a very simple card. Oh my goodness, I think I've just done simple stamping. What? What even happened? <laughs> now the other thing that I did want to try, we may not finish the card today, but I do want to just see what it looks like, just for a bit of fun. Because, you know, why not? How am I going for time? Oh, good have another appointment to go to <laughs> the dentist oh no it's all good I can cope I can do it so we want to do I'm going to do the exact same size uh, I think it's already cut that size yes so we're doing the pool that's actually the pool party size but that's all right we'll do it larger and then I can cut down to the calypso coral size so this is the piece that I cut before no piece left behind. We'll always leave, we'll always use everything to its best ability, right? We don't want to leave it behind. I have no idea where I've put the stamper up. Oh, I found it. All good. Oh, so dramatic. So much drama. I literally have no idea, though, where my ShamWow is. Did you steal my ShamWow, Bruno? He has his own, so I can't blame him for stuff anymore. It's so annoying. And Jesse's not here, so I can't blame Jesse either. It actually legitimately is just my fault. <laughs> it's like, uh, no, it's actually just you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Barnard. <laughs> Barnard. Oh, is it the same as um, Boston? Yeah, they do say it like that too. Brandy Barnard. 
I can see Jessica Brigden's husband saying it like that. David. David, he says it like that. Look at me, I'm like, I will find the ShamWow. Because I want to give my stamp set a bit of a clean. No, it's not in that drawer. Not in that drawer. Literally gone. Gone. Dead. Anyway, Brenna can bring his in when he's... When he, when he finally catches up on the video and sees that I'm looking for the ShamWow. And for now, I'll use the the dry baby wipes. <laughs> hey, it'll do something. <laughs> it Look, it's lifting some colour off the dry, the dry baby wipe. <laughs> Help! Help, Bruno, where is my chamois? I never knew I'd like literally be so dependent on my chamois. I do have my um what should I call it the stamp and scrub here, but no, I want my chamois. Give me my chamois. Okay, that'll do. It should be okay. You won't see it on this dark colour anyway. It's just gonna ruin my Versa marking, but I can deal with it. It's an excuse to go shopping. <laughs> get more, get more, um, <laughs> more Versa mark. I think it should be okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're in. Don't need the chamois anymore, Bruno. Thanks for your help. Thanks for nothing, Rachel. Thanks for nothing. Now, my iPad charger is used to using your iPad charger. <laughs> Let's have a look here. We may have to move that around so we'll just leave that there for now. Probably should have lined this up beforehand but that's okay. We'll, we'll estimate. Yes that looks good. And then we can just line it up so that it's all straight there. And, oh, don't forget your buddy. I know, all my drawers, none of it, not there. Bruno must be preoccupied. <laughs> he must have got a delivery of plants. I don't need another plant. So I brought another plant to board at home. That's our favourite song at the moment. Because literally, daily, there's new plants coming into this house. Daily. It's the daily mail. Okay. We do love a good shop. It is fun, isn't it? So I'm really going to get into those little sections that got a bit... Got a bit sticky. Didn't go down. Oh, there we go. Now, yeah, it feels like this little bit in the center is just having a bit of a miss. So just check your stamp. I'm going to keep an eye on it. But I hope it's not a a fault. I think it it's always usually user error, so <laughs> I think it's I think it's more my <laughs> my error. Oh, you're gonna loan me your chamois, Charlotte, thank you. Oh. Hi, did you finally hear my pleas of my cries for help, Bruno Batucci? Did you hear my cries of help? I can't find my chamois. You can use mine. Oh, look how beautiful new it is, though. Only the top one. Only the top one. <laughs> can you look for mine? Can you look for mine? And I'll while look later. Just use that one. While you're here, I want to hear your song. Which one? I don't know. What song was it that you were singing on YouTube? Um, you bring meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. I wanna have you near me. I wanna have you near me. Say yeah. No one needs you more than I need you. Oh, that was brilliant. 
Brilliant. Thanks. Brilliant. Bravo. <laughs> Even if I just pretended to lose my chamois, that was worth it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you even got the sound right, Bruno. <laughs> it sounded like him. He had the nasal inflection. <laughs> uh, Therese, Teresa came at just the right time. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Teresa. <laughs> yes, so I think I'm going to have to get this checked out. I think maybe if I just put something underneath, because it's such a big stamp like as in long it's almost like a background stamp it's responding the same way that a background stamp would <laughs> you're all loving it <laughs> oh, he did a good job didn't he i knew he'd be good he had his moment yeah that looks better all right let's emboss this baby and see what this looks like. I think this is going to look really hot. And again, very simple. <laughs> we didn't even get to use the dies today. Aww. I'll have to have a play. Bruno uses the dies tonight. We'll save something for him. So there is a little bit missing in that edge bit there. So that's a tad annoying. So just be mindful of the edge and there. So I'll just... Do a little bit of scrapey scrapey so that it looks you know not like a mistake no one's gonna know they're not gonna know they're gonna know they won't know they will not know voila it would also be really fun to do this actually in innovation day here we come it would be really fun to do this on basic white with clear emboss and then sponge over the top. That would look hot. Yeah, I want a bit of air supply. What's that? So I'm just going to bring over a few of these pieces in here. So it just sort of looks like it's you know, having a little continuation over here <laughs> rather than looking like what just happened in that section. We'll cover up the boo-boo. This is always a way. And no one will know except for all of you. And these are the cards that you send to people who are not card makers. They, they don't know. <laughs> Only we know. <laughs> People who aren't card makers. They will not know. <laughs> so just heat it up with something like this. Just heat it up off on the side first. Put it on low. And then just to hover over the top. Oh, it's still... Maybe I should have gone on the side. But actually, it's not too bad. But a few did blow away. But that's okay. I'll show you another trick that we can do. I'll blast it first and then I'll show you. I'll show you. It's a good little trick. <clears throat> and in case you haven't seen this trick that I do, it's very, very good for galaxies. What a beautiful stamp set. So pretty. Okay, so what we do down this end is we'll get some Versamark and go directly on here. I'll just get my little <coughs> grid paper because we'll be stamping a little bit off the side. 
So just stamp that and it feels really random, but you're stamping that whole thing. And then you're just gonna either pick it up with your hands and just pinch a little bit in here. Just sort of tap away. And if you wanted to, you could even have like your little splashes. Let's try that. So you can come in here. It feels very random <laughs> going directly on Versamark, but the minute you um, stamp for these bits, I'm just gonna sprinkle. So it sort of is that, you know, splashing, the splashback of the waves. This is a big wave. It's got lots of splashing happening. Okay. Bit of salt bay. This is not salt, this is embossing, embossing powder, but it reminds me of the, the guy that does the, the meat. So again, low. You're gonna lose some of it, but that's okay. I kind of did a little bit extra just in case, but we've kept some of it. Oh. Check it out, peeps. And I think this is the cool thing about Innovation Day, right? Is, like, you saw what happened here. Like, oh, my goodness, such a boo-boo, you know, I missed this stamp. And there'd be some people, there'd be some people that would be like, oh, you know, that's it, ruined, throw it in the bin. But if you just stop pause think about how am I going to fix this what tools have I got here already what can I use that's at my disposal sometimes you can come up with something completely different like would I have thought or remembered to have done this to my wave no I wouldn't have so sometimes if you have the right attitude towards a mistake sometimes that's where the the amazement comes from right that's where cool things come from. Because I would have forgotten about that little technique. But how stinking amazing does that look? I know, so cool. <laughs> so yeah, just keep sort of pushing yourself to, you know, if a card isn't working the way you want it to, keep pushing yourself to um, try different things. This is our Innovation Day, Sue. Innovation Day is when we innovate. <laughs> Do you like those de definitions? It's a day in which to innovate. It's basically a creative day. It's a way for me to play with these items without any pressure and just not have something in mind of what I'm doing, but just play. Like use it different ways. Think what can I, how can I use this? What can I do? But how good does that look with the embossing? on the Night of Navy. Wow, it's such a detailed, beautiful stamp. Really, really beautiful. So you can do Innovation Day with any of your stamps or dies or you know, just pull it out and say, right, I'm just gonna have a play with these items. I maybe haven't used them before and I just wanna get used to how it, how it works, what I can do with it, how I can use it, yeah. So let's do for this one, the other one, you're totally awesome. And what we could do here, we'll just have a look. I don't know if I will or not, but let's just see what this looks like layered with one of these, right? If I did layer it, which one would I use? And would I use some of the same foil on top, do you reckon? Anyway, we'll have a look. We may look at it and go, no, don't want it. I did want to see, oops, I did want to see what it looked like with the vellum. Oh, that looks pretty. 
just like as a soft, like just to see what it would look like softening it. But I don't know if it would work or not. So that's that's what we're going to try, right? This is this is what innovation day is all about. Saying, don't know if that's going to work or not, but let's give it a go. So I'm just going to put some adhesive sheets behind there actually with this one it's better to cut it first so that you know exactly where you're at so you can just line it up how much space you need because this one's quite fine so you don't want to sort of jib yourself Okay. keep that piece and then we'll do the same because we're going to need the same for the other piece the vellum so I just do them both at the same time there we go so we've got one piece here so these, these are the adhesive sheets and what these are good for if I can get the right way <laughs> these are really good for these really fiddly dies so you just put it on the back here of whatever you're cutting so I don't like getting too much sticky on me so I just sort of put put some of it on and then peel off this last bit here to then drop down I just find that a bit easier when I'm doing the sheets there we go. Pop those in the bin. So that's that one ready. So you just got to make sure that you're chopping in the right spot. Make sure your adhesive is in, in the place you want it. And then the other one that I wanted to do was in the vellum. So where's my beautiful vellum? Here you are, little one. Just chop this down a little bit. Chop it in half. And we'll see if this fits across here. I think the die should fit that way. Yes, it does. So before you stick down, just again give it another little chop there. So you don't have it sticking over the side and this is actually a really good thing to use with vellum because um, yeah sometimes it's difficult to stick vellum down but this is a great way to get your vellum stuck down because you sometimes think oh how am I going to do this Come on, fold the other way, little one. That's it. Do you like that little technique? It saves you getting, you don't want to touch this stuff because you end up with sticky all over you. It's very, very sticky and it just pulls away. It's like, oh no, there's sticky everywhere. Oh, that's great. All right, let's run them through. I'll just make a little bit of space here so I can bring the stamp and cut and emboss machine over. Now, please keep in mind that you get 20% off your stamp and cut and emboss machine at the moment. So make the most of that if you need to. I mean, how come you haven't already got a mini? What's going on here? <laughs> What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> okay come here little one this is my well used plates I'm like literally on their last legs Bruno's bought me some more plates last week and I'm like no I can hold on for a little bit longer oh a colored piece of vellum would be gorgeous yeah you could even color it yourself but there are colored vellum it's a great idea Mary I just wanted to see what it's like when you 
soften it. What I might do is do each one of these dies differently. Like do a different one. So if we do decide, we could even layer them. That's cool, hey. Uh, three inches, Yvonne, which I actually don't know what it is in centimeters, but yeah, the cut the the wide the widest part is three inches. I think it's about seven seven centimeters or something like that. Okay, so that's number one done. And I think it would be really cool. Bruno was trying this last night, but wouldn't be wouldn't it be cool to do the piecing with this? So you could cut it out from different um, different colors and then piece it back in. It looks so gorgeous. I'd feel like I'm back in um, Barcelona with all the mosaic tiles and oh, it would look so gorgeous if you had one piece that was. Calypso, one piece that's Knight of Navy. <gasps> so pretty. That would look really good. And you would definitely need adhesive sheet for that because you'd be cutting out the same wave maybe three or four times. But I think the results would be... The results would be worth it. Wow, this is sticking to everything. It's just picked up my love it, chop it. <laughs> love it, chop it. <laughs> We've got new ones coming, everyone, and we can do it to overseas now. Did that overseas one um, send Bruno Batucci? I hope it's sent. I'm sure it arrived okay. We were testing it. We thought we'll test it with one first to see how our courier goes, to see how it all tracks and make sure it's all okay. And then go from there. Then open it up. But yeah, once the new ones arrive, which shouldn't be far away, then we'll get them happening. Oh, wow. Imagine it in the foil. <gasps> so pretty. Brenna said it hasn't arrived yet. It takes a while to send stuff from Australia. We just have to be patient. Not patient at all. So let's just move this beautiful machine out of the way. Which, by the way, if you have the um, old Big Shot and you're wondering, is it worth upgrading? I cannot believe the difference with this one. <clears throat> like the detailed, especially with embossing, in fact. Embossing's the main one that has really, like, you can tell the difference now when you use the adhesive sheets it they are a little bit more like it's a bit more sturdy as well which is very very handy when it comes to these dies because they are quite you know thin and flimsy and they can be difficult to work with I get I got that expert advice from Bruno because he's played with it he played with it last night and he's like oh yeah it's just with the dies I'm like have you got any tips for me since you've played with it and I haven't and he said yeah the only tip I'd give you is that the dies are, are quite flimsy which you know they're so fine and beautiful that's that's the price we need to pay can't have fine and beautiful and then it not be flimsy so see here how like it may cut through don't stress too much see this bit here this is actually the adhesive backing so some of these items will actually come off once you take off the backing it may not necessarily take off the whole thing but it's cool to have these pieces that have got adhesive on them so that would be an amazing looking card if you just did the piecing. Yeah, wouldn't that be gorgeous? Yeah, I'll keep all of those pieces. Um, so that's that one. We'll keep all of these little pieces in a pile. Come over here, little one. That's for that's for our next project for another day. And the vellum, where did we put him? Oh, he's still attached. I'm like, where did it go? Is in here. So let's push that out. 
the vellum's definitely different. It's a lot more, like it's come out a lot easier here. Wow. These are amazing. Now I think we should be able to, <clears throat> let's have a little play here. So I've got this piece and we've got this piece here. So they kind of go, like they can go either way, I think depending on what you want to really pop through. I think I like it like that with a little bit of the, the foil underneath. And then this, this vellum at the moment is like, it looks like it's quite like more like a white, but once you peel off the backing, then that will be more see-through. So let's have a play. Let's do some innovation together. Yes, absolutely worth upgrading. I agree. I was very, very impressed with the quality of um, the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I didn't think that I would need.